Okay, so we're going to watch All About Mormons. Uh, this is from 2000, uh, year 2000. Now, you know, uh, Matt and Trey have explored Mormonism in various ways. Uh, it was, if you have ever seen Orgasmo, um, which is their live action movie that they made in like the, I don't know, 97. Um, pretty funny and super fucking weird, but they, they get into Mormonism in that. Um, but this is actually, you know, what the, the, the episode tries to portray is a semi-accurate story of the, 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 the founding of the Mormon religion and the general beliefs in the story of Joseph Smith. Um, <clears throat> now, there's obviously, they're embellishing things, they're omitting parts of the story, etc., for a comedic effect. Um, and, you know, they're not trying to be historically accurate or totally theologically accurate. Now, um, this is based upon when, if you watch the uh, creator commentary where Trey Parker went, had a girlfriend and went to her house for a family home evening, FHE. FHE is usually a Monday night. It's usually Monday nights where Mormon families get together play games and talk about their faith and, you know, read scripture and, you know, stuff like that. And so he went to one of these. So when Stan, who is Trey, um, in, in Stan's family, is Trey's family, if you remember back to week one, you know, goes to Gary's house uh, for dinner and he, it's dinner at family home, home evening. That's, uh, you know, largely based on Parker's experience there. Now, um, we learn about the seer stones. So this goes back to, you know, basically Joseph Smith. The story is that there is a version of the Bible that no one's read before um, and that he's been chosen to use special stones to translate the Bible <coughs> uh, into English. Okay. And this is where Martin Harrison, who's wealthy and was going to print it, uh, transcribed it. And then, you know, Martin Harrison's wife, you know, destroyed or held some of the pages of it and, you know, said like he'd be able to retranslate it. And then, you know, he's basically, Joseph Smith then rewrote the book because he, could, he couldn't do it. He, you know, and you see this in, in the episode where Stan represents, you know, this cultural skepticism of the story. Uh, you know, yeah, you're, you believe in this, you're adherent to the Mormon religion, like it requires that non-rational belief, that you believe, you know, in the story of Joseph Smith. Although rationally, you hear the story without the, 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 the faith, and you're like, it's total bullshit. He duped motherfuckers. <laughs> He made himself into a god, you know. But, like, if you adhere to it and you believe in it, that's fine, you know, because you have that, that, that non-rational faith. It doesn't matter. And at the end of the episode, you really get the moral where Gary basically says, I know it's all... Well, it doesn't matter if you think it's all bullshit. I have a good family. I have a good life. We're happy, you know. And this is, goes to the part where, you know, uh, Parker and Stone will make fun of something, but also credit it where it's like, yeah, like, I, you know, in general, Mormons seem to be pretty nice people, good people who have good families and whatever, but obviously, you know, have some who are not, and then you have the, you know, the plural marriage and, you know, all those, all those things. So, you know, but Trey and Parker, they give them credit, you know, like, yeah, Mormons, like, for the most part, are good, nice people. Um, what's wrong with that? Like, the book, yeah, and Joseph Smith's story may be bullpucky, but, like, does that matter? Because, like, they're not, in, maybe they're not interpreting, you know, word for word as the way, the way of being, but it's given them a way to live their lives in a respectable manner. Anyways, um, 
But yeah, I mean, it brings up this whole thing of like faith versus empirical evidence. Faith is that non-rational belief. Empirical evidence means you, you need historical proof. You need proof. You know, and you see this in Martin Harrison's wife in this who needs who needs the proof. And Martin Harrison, he believes, he believes in this shit. And the important part is religion requires faith. And and you know, where Parker and Stone make fun of this is with the, the music part where they go dum 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 dum. And then Harrison's wife is smart, 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 smart. Like, you know, they kind of, you know, they obviously rip on it in that way. But again, at the end, just pay attention to what is the value of the Book of Mormon as they talk about it and in, in, in the Mormon faith. And, and Gary reveals that kind of essence at the end, which is so similar to Red Hot Catholic Love, where, you know, we're taken, um, you know, when you take these words as the way, as the only way, as the only truth, as truth. That's a problem. But there's good in, in those books. And if you take the good out of there, you know, that's what matters. That's what Father Maxey says, you know. These are these gives us ways to, you know, think about and live our live our lives in a moral and just way. Um, and so they give credit in, in that in that sense. All right, so we're going to press play on this. Let's watch it. I mean, again, you're going to learn a little bit about Mormonism. Just think about this whole concept of non-rational belief and stand as the, you know, cultural skepticism. Um, you know, be skeptical yourself, you know, uh, read more about the religion, its foundation, and uh, enjoy this episode. It's a brilliant one. I think it's a nice one. Uh, hope you enjoy it half as much as I do. <laughs> 